One of the easiest ways to lit an arch vis scene is by using an HDRI, a high dynamic range image that captures a piece of real environment and cast it on your work. So in this short video, I will show you how to set up an HDRI light in your Blender scene. Here on the left bar, you have the world properties where we can edit the world light in the scene. Similar to that is the world nodes, which we can access from any work window by changing it to shading and switching it from object to world node edit. Both world properties and nodes are the same, so if we edit or add something on the right, it will show up on both. To add an HDRI, we can hit this dot near the color picker, and select the environment texture node, or from the shading area, drag the color slot with your left mouse button, and the add menu will appear, you can access it by hitting shift A, then search for the environment node. To add an HDRI file in the last node, you need first to have one, and there are many sites to get free ones from, the Polyhaven is one of those sites. Here you can pick the environment you want, choose the resolution for the file, and pay attention to that since it can go up in size. You also have two types of files both HDR and DXR, and it tells you which one is better for the colors so go with the default one. You can now switch to material preview from the top bar, or by holding the Z key on the viewport area. Then in the viewport shading from the modes arrow, choose the environment we added last, then enable the scene world option. An HDRI gives you two things, reflections on sight, with real life captured light on your scene, and you can see that clearly if you added a reflective object, like a sphere for example, with a glossy shader to show the reflections, you can see the environment on the sphere along with the light information. I won't go deep into render mode since that will open the door for render settings, which we explain before on the channel, but if you switch to viewport render, you can see the full light potentials for this easy method in lighting, and it's super useful for beginners, though it might add some loads to your scene, so give it a try. There are many methods for adding realistic lights even without using HDRIs, to learn that you can watch this video, it should pop up on your screen, see you guys next time, stay sharp, goodbye.